from regional Victoria. He is our first ninja and our first ever dairy farmer. Welcome to the course, Bradley Vanderland. Yeah, I had a phone call and answered the phone and yeah, it was Ninja Warrior to ring in to tell me that I'd um, that I'd made it through. Oh, well. <laughs> 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 That's awesome. And then I realised that I've never trained for anything in my life. <laughs> well, I'm from Denison in East Gippsland, Victoria. I uh, work on the dairy farm here. There's always something physical. Jump on a fence so you don't get zapped or, <laughs> or chasing the calf. Milk 400 cows here in the morning. Uh, go inside for a nice brekkie and a cup of tea. I definitely don't have any Ninja Warrior course out here, but you know, ask country blokes who can mingle with the best of them. <laughs> no matter where you're from or what you do, I think uh, if it's something you want, you'll get the job done. On the start of the Ninja Warrior course. All right, he calls himself a yobbo. He looks all right to me. Yeah, well, he's got a good build for a ninja. 187 centimetres tall. He weighs just 75 kilos. Wife Lauren and the kids keen to get season three started like we all are. Absolutely, and have a look at this. This is the first obstacle. Those pads are half the size of last year and they're 20 centimetres further apart. Bradley Vanderland. Oh, he's off to a great start. Lightning fast on the floating steps. And he's through to the swing surfer. This has got to be the toughest second obstacle we have ever seen. Let's see how he hits this trampoline. Wise to test it, first of all. Very wise. Go, bang. He's done it. Oh, he's easily onto the swing surfer. He's manoeuvred himself round. And he is off. He makes that jump. Yes. Looking strong as he turns the corner, and we get our first look at obstacle three. This is the tuning forks. You can't see yet, but you will. Each fork spins independently. Okay, softly, softly, and he's up. Bradley Vanderland. Bradley, Bradley, Bradley. The dairy farmer should have gone on the other one. <laughs> 